Hey everybody, Adam Savage. <coughs> hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with a one day build that involves some of my metrology equipment. Is that the way to say it? Metrology? Metrological? No, probably. Um, you remember this. This is the set of Mitutoyu uh, 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 micrometers that I purchased last year and refurbished both the the, the measuring instruments and their box. Um, and I did this thing where I uh, cleaned them all out and oiled them up and put them all back. And I screwed it up a little bit. What's that? Anyway, I screwed it up a little bit. Um, how did I screw it up, you ask? Well, here's how I screwed it up. Um, what I did was I took each one of these out and then uh, cleaned it and then added some oil. The problem is there's too much oil. Um, so I can't even turn this without activating the ratchet. If you had one of these, you'd know that means it's really, really gummy and it like, you can feel its gumminess. So, <clears throat> <clears throat> sorry. So I went online and I looked up, sorry. So I went online and I looked up cleaning these things and the advice was very straightforward. It was uh, take them apart, drown them in some WD-40, add a very, very small amount of machine oil. Specifically, this was the recommendation, some Sterrett um, 1620 tool and instrument oil. This is a tool and an instrument. Um, yeah, they're all like, ah, ah, ah. so I'm going to clean all of them out. I'm going to, I'm in the process of cleaning these out. Um, and I'll walk you through what I'm doing here. So I'm going to put it in my caliper stand and this is a seven to eight inch. Oh, that's turning is so nice. Eight inch calibration standard. Excellent. These are both clean. Oh, no, I want the seven. That looks like it's a little bit off. All right, I'm gonna do it like this so I can hold it up. Oh, there we are, yeah. That was it, I just wasn't holding it correctly. So, <clears throat> there you go. What an idiot. Hold on. All right, here we go. That is pretty darn good. Oop. Right, it looks like I'm off by about a thou. Oh. Oh, no. Yeah, I think that's about as close as I'm gonna get on this one. It's sort of like a moving target. Oh yeah, there we go. So, now, that's the ideal is that you give it a spin, it keeps going for a couple of rotations. That means that I've really got it right. All right, so I'm gonna give this one a little more of a swab off. All the way back. Uh, 
This one is going to be number eight. Number eight. And there you go. Nice. Nice. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Great. Okay, comes number nine. And this one. Oh. 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 God. Jeez, I'm crow. Look at that. That is, yeah. I know, I'm using the wrong kind of oil. Look at that. Sorry, look up close. Come on, there you go. That's, this is acting like a gummy, greasy glue. Ugh. All right. Look at this. Gross. Okay. Uh, Look at that. Look at what I just pulled out of there. That was just out of this hole, dude. Blah. Now, it just lest you think it is this easy every single time to clean out an old, uh, an old micrometer like this, I already cleaned these out and then used the wrong oil, which got gummed up, but I'm finding it very easy to remove that oil using the WD-40. Um, previously, I had like, well, I think we actually even put it in the video of me like using a bunch of Q-tips and stuff to get all the grease and dirt out. Um, the nice thing is I'm calibrating all this stuff immediately after, uh, immediately as I clean each one and I'm finding them all still calibrated uh, at a very reasonable level.
just a tiny bit of this goodness. Now it's moving. That's how it's supposed to move. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, that's great. My God, that feels wonderful. All right, let's, uh, this is the eight and nine inch. Let's calibrate it at nine. All right, let's calibrate it like this. So I can hold it upright. Lars, she blows nine inches. Did on the money. Did on the money. Oh, so pretty. Gotta love looking at markings like this up close. All right. Ten inch, and again, ugh, oh, it's bad. Go, go, go! Out. Look at that. Who is this twat? That is just grease. That didn't come out of my nose or my ear. That came out of my cow, my, 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 my micrometers. Holy gross. All right. Yeah, that's great. Put that over there. We're on the last one. I like how loose that feels. Oh, feels like a little bit of kink out there at the end. Let's see if I can just clean that last bit off.
getting better. All right, calibration. This is the big 11 inch, 11 inch reference. There it is, right up to 1,000, yep, beauty. You have it, a quick and dirty shop maintenance. It feels really good. Always feels really good to like tune your tools in so that they're nice and easy to use. Few things feel better than when your tools are all in working order. Thank you guys for joining me for this one day build. Yeah, I think it's time to go home. I'll see you guys next time, bye. One of the things I love about this channel is that we don't make how-to videos so much as we make what happened videos. And what almost always happens are mistakes and screw-ups. In fact, they're completely integral to making and honestly to being a person. And to celebrate this, Tested has a new batch of demerit badges for the screw-ups you will encounter in the shop. From left to right, we have touching your paint job, assembling things backwards, losing a tiny screw or part, gluing your fingers together, and smashing your thumb. And frankly, if you haven't done both of these, even if you're not a maker, I just don't feel like you've experienced enough of the world. I'm not saying get out a hammer and smash your thumb, but I will tell you that the blacker your fingernail after the injury, the less it's gonna hurt in the long run. I almost forgot, these make excellent additions to your shop apron and they are available at tested-store.com.